So what's going on, y'all? This video is about the T-Mobile home internet. Bam. They have a new gateway that replaced the old one from Nokia. Bing. And I didn't, um, to be honest, when, when I seen it, I'm like, man, I don't know. You know, it's using the, the, the 5G or whatever. Is this just going to be like a hyped up mobile hotspot kind of thing or whatever? I haven't had much luck trying those in the past. But right now, um, the Wi-Fi in my building, my apartment has Wi-Fi, but because of where I'm at, I'm in like the top floor over in the corner, probably the furthest away from where they have the uh, access points and all that. I'm not getting good signals, so figured I'd try it out. So um, they have this newer gateway here. This isn't the one that you see in the commercials. Bing. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that one. Um, so I don't know how anybody's success has been in the past with those. I think the old one was made by Nokia. This one right here is a Katsuyakwa or some stuff. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, it's a little black one with a, um, with a screen on it and everything. You've seen it in the uh, video earlier. So that's the reason for me making this video. And I wanted to put it up against kind of like um, a real world kind of scenario or whatever where you know, um, you know, you got a few different people using the Wi-Fi or whatever, maybe one plug directly into the uh, the ports on the back or whatever. So we did these speed tests and all that good stuff um, in the first one. And I actually moved the box around to different locations in my little uh, apartment box or whatever. And right here, the first place that I had it, I was getting the best signal. So I put it back there. Now we're going to try some my my way of kind of replicating real world situations or whatever so we're gonna have about four devices hooked up on it see what kind of speed test we get and that's pretty much it please hit that like button if um i help subscribe if that give me some comments let me know what i could do better or whatever and that's pretty much it thanks okay what's going on yeah so i'm back to kind of finish up a little bit um so right now, let me tell you what's going on. I have three devices connected to the T-Mobile router gateway or whatever. Um, I have one device that's going off of my hotspot on my phone. Uh, that's my laptop. So that's, that speed test that you see right there is indicative of what my, um, <laughs> what the hotspot on my phone is, which is also from T-Mobile or whatever, right? So, um, this video here is also connected to my hotspot on my, um, on my phone. So we have the laptop and my phone that are not connected. And then we have, uh, I got a laptop over there and then I had this tablet that keeps going off. And then I have, um, another cell phone that is connected to the um, T-Mobile thing. So that's what you see, these three devices are right here. Now you see, oh, wow. Now it said, like, right before I started this, it said that I had a good connection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug this, I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna plug this for a few seconds, then I'm gonna plug it back up and see what happens because everything paused and it was only three devices on here and I can do that with my phone so I don't know let's see if um hopefully when um when I started back up maybe everything will be fixed and then we'll do a speed test and see what we got going on okay <clears throat> so I plug the gateway back up and also what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut my Wi-Fi off on the laptop right and we'll plug directly into the gateway. So that way, this should be, when we do the speed test again, this should be the very best that any device should be able to get from the um, gateway because it's directly hard wired into the laptop. And just to show over here, um, 
That video is not playing. And, oh, but that just went off. This video is not playing. My uh, hotspot is still doing pretty good. And this video on this little tablet is not playing. I should have did it on the surface, but I figured if I just got a little, little cheapo um, tablet to use, then this should be like the best conditions possible because the videos that I'm trying to play while I'm doing this are on the le the least, um, what is it? The, the lowest resolution that you can put a YouTube video on. So it's not like I'm trying to watch 4K stuff or anything. So first off, let's, uh, let's do this test on the laptop. You see right here is, uh, it's connected again or whatever, right? So let's do this. I'm trying to look through the screen of my phone and do this. <laughs> Test again. Hello, buddy. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Hold on, okay. I don't know what was going on with that. All right, so we're doing this speed test here. Right quick. Well, that's good. Right? And that seems to be pretty good as well. Okay, so we got 122.1 megabits per second download speed and 15.3 megabits per second upload speed. This is saying three devices, good connection. So this should. Fine. So. Okay, so that's playing pretty good. I don't want to. You know what? I'm gonna wait on that. Let's run over here right quick. That is hopefully just paused or whatever because the network went down. But okay, still nothing on there, right? Now back over here. This polo phone, I broke the screen, but that video is playing. Everything's playing. Uh, hold up. I don't know. Let's try on this right here. Hmm. Okay. It says it couldn't sign in. Shouldn't have to sign in. I'll do a review on this little little laptop. I mean tablet too. Okay, so now we have three devices, which is not accurate. Ooh, three devices just to the Wi-Fi, right? So anyway, hold up. I'm gonna do I'm gonna test this again just to see. It shouldn't change because we directly um, connected into the gateway, which should represent a different port. And then all of the Wi-Fi devices should be on their own port. So we got some good speeds right there, right? Now what I'm gonna do is, um, you see that? Just so we can give T-Mobile their props. Now directly connected in, we got 140. 0.7 megabits per second download, 35.6 megabits per second upload speed. And I am going to disconnect the uh, Ethernet cable. And we are going to join the port that the Wi-Fi uses. So let me just cut this back on. Bam. So we connected to that and um, it should go to saying four devices, right? Four devices, come on. Okay, anyway, we know that it's four devices though. Ooh, or do we? Dun, dun, dun. This is one device. No. Okay, this is not on there. Hold on. 
Okay. So you know what? It's unfortunate. I don't even see T-Mobile coming up as an option on this. It's not that far away. So I don't know what's going on. So we can't we can't go off of this as being a connected device. Okay. We got the tablet is definitely connected. Then um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on there with it. Um where is T Mobile? There we go. And the reason that I'm doing this, okay, there we go. The reason that I'm doing this like this is because I want to show, like, let's say you got this and you're at the house and you got a couple kids plus you, maybe a significant other. Four devices or so. There we go. Just looking at some videos, even though they, they, they say streaming is a big deal and all that, just looking up some YouTube videos shouldn't be that big of a deal. So... Is that playing? Okay, so we got these actually going. Okay, now, now we're getting a little bit of issue. This one I want to do. But anyway, that's okay. Let's come back over here for the sake of time. Now it says we have four devices on here. And now let's do the speed test and see what we get. Well, look at that. Not quite as high, but still around the 102.7 download speed, 32.3 up, upload, which that only really would mean something for me and my households. So, and we got four devices going here, right? At the same damn time, at the same damn time. I just want to show you real quick that they are playing uh, video actively like at the same time so that's pretty good you know what i'm saying um is this one playing still too yep all of these are playing videos at the same time so um the last thing i might do is a video test a, a speed test on no i don't need to do it on one of the phones um i should though right so i uh, what I meant to do is come over here, kind of far away from the box. Not really all that far away. But we could at least say we're in another room, right? Or another area. My, my place is not very big. Um, here. So I am going to, I'm going to do that again, right? And please give me feedback, like if this was helpful or something like that. You know what I mean? I'm trying to represent, like if I was in a different room, because the speed test I did was my laptop directly right next to the uh, the box. You know? Now, this is, I'm going to say this is pretty good. So we did a bunch of speed tests over these couple videos or whatever, right? I think... I think that this would be pretty good and indicative of like what might be going on, you know, in the house. So we got 90 megabits per second download speed, which is really what you want to trip off of. But then the 34 megabits per second upload speed. Now, they say on average you should get 100. This is four devices connected, playing video, streaming at the same time uh, in different locations directly next to the box we got 102 and when we would connect it <clears throat> with the ethernet cord it was up like 130 or something like that you can go back in the video and see that but i, I think that's pretty good you know so when um i guess t-mobile is saying you know that you can get 100 megabits per second with our um t-mobile home internet and blah 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 I almost broke something. But anyway, I'm trying to put this thing on this thing here. So there we go. So when it's when they saying that with, with the home internet, you know, you can get uh, 100 
megabits per second. Like we'd improve that, right? <clears throat> In fact, we showed that it can go higher than 100 megabits per second. Uh, if you're using the, the ethernet cord and you're directly connected into one of these ports. Because if my memory serves me correctly, um, you know, you got a certain, a certain amount of data that can go through each port. This is one port, two ports. Some, a lot of routers, most routers have four. Most of these combo non-service super routers or whatever have two, four, eight, or like maybe 16, some of them, uh, ports. Now, each port handles individual traffic, but then you have two more ports, um, which is your Wi-Fi. You got uh, the 2.4 gigahertz, and you got the 5 uh, gigahertz. Each one of those is an additional port, I believe. So the more traffic, the more uh, things you have hooked up to, let's say your 2.4, well, if you have too many of them, it can bottleneck and slow down your speeds and all that good stuff. Uh, but we have, uh, can you see this? I'm trying to do it like that. We got four devices uh, simultaneously streaming, still getting 90 megabits per second on it. You know what I mean? And I took this for, for as far as I can get away from the router in my little little box here. Um, so I think that's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I messed up or I didn't do something right in my, my little review or trying to figure out what was going on with that, you know, show me your hands. Anyway, uh, let me know. You know what I mean? And I'll do it a different way or something. But if this helped at all, like if you were thinking about getting the T-Mobile internet and you was wondering if the, the speeds they're talking about is, you know, kind of accurate or whatever. Now me, I'm in, I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm about a mile or two, maybe two, two miles from downtown. I say that because downtown St. Louis has like, you know, uh, antennas and all that everywhere. So I'm not like out in the middle of nowhere or anything like that. So I don't know if this will really be indicative if you're in a more rural environment or something like that. But anyway, like, subscribe, whatever. If you've seen something that you want me to do a review on or something, uh, I might be able to get it. If um, you ever see anything in my videos or whatever that you want me to do a review on, let me know because I'm trying to do a review on everything because that's the name of the channel, right? D-Roy Reviews Everything. Um, including like my art, I do this stuff. I made those things. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.